I don't think your clients murdered anybody. And why do you think that? There was no intent. The medical report says that Santiago died of asphyxiation brought upon by acute lactic acidosis and that the nature of the acidosis strongly suggests poisoning. Now, I don't know what any of those words mean, but it does sound pretty bad. Santiago died at 1am. At 3, the doctor wasn't able to determine the cause of death. Three hours later, he said it was poisoning. Wow, so you're saying that it had to be Professor Plum in the library with a candlestick. I'm going to talk to your supervisor. Wonderful. Head straight down Pennsylvania Road, big white house, columns in the front. You can't miss it. Thank you. Good luck. You'll need it. I was sent here by the division, remember? So someone over there seems to think that I can handle this case, and I will. So as much as I appreciate your interest and admire your enthusiasm, I think I can handle things. Do you know what a code red is? No. What a pity. Okay. I'm sorry. How is your mother? You know, she's been taking heavier doses of her meds, and lately, while we're talking, she fades out and She'll snap right back in like nothing happened. Hey, look, I'm going to the board next month, and you never know. They're not willing me to say the whole ten, but because I've done half, I, I could be home. And things will be better, they can change. It's a long shot, Dad. Yeah, well, look, I understand your situation because it's my situation. You get me? How are you holding up? All right, things get rough, but we're getting by. I put a hundred in your commission now. Thank you, that's plenty. So, is Harvey looking after you? Yeah, he gives us money to survive. Fifteen minutes later, my neighbor William noticed the smoke that was billowing over the hill that obscured our family homes. My wife Margaret was still out searching for the dairy cow. By the time he could respond, the roof had just collapsed, and baby Rose was found not ten feet from the veranda, screaming and covered in burns. More neighbors arrived, and yet all they could do was stand and watch as my entire home was consumed by flames. Only when the fires had subsided could they determine what had happened. I found the body of my eldest son, Colin, kneeling over the bed, fruitlessly attempting to shield his siblings. The authorities concluded that he managed to take baby Rose out of the house before racing back inside to save his brothers and sister. The heat and the collapsing roof had trapped them all inside. My wife was questioned about this the very next morning, and word had only just reached me in Mount Eliza 